Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of CPUs and motherboards. In this video, we'll explore the key differences between LGA, LAN Grid Array, and PGA, Pin Grid Array, CPUs. So, let's buckle up and embark on this tech journey together. What are LGA and PGA CPUs? Before we get into the differences, let's understand the basics. LGA and PGA refer to the way CPUs connect to the motherboard. LGA CPUs have small pads on the bottom that fit into corresponding holes on the motherboard socket. On the other hand, PGA CPUs have pins on the underside that directly plug into the motherboard socket. One significant difference between LGA and PGA CPUs is the installation process. LGA CPUs are generally easier to install since you don't need to worry about bent pins. With LGA CPUs, you simply place the CPU in the correct orientation, apply some gentle pressure, and you're good to go. No need to stress about damaging any pins during installation. Heat dissipation is critical for the optimal performance of your CPU. Here's where the difference becomes apparent. LGA CPUs tend to have a larger surface area for attaching the heatsink, resulting in better heat dissipation. PGA CPUs, however, have pins surrounding the CPU, which may restrict the heatsink size and cooling efficiency. Scalability and compatibility are important considerations when choosing a CPU and motherboard. LGA CPUs often offer better scalability, with more pin connections on the motherboard socket. This allows for future CPU upgrades without replacing the entire motherboard. PGA CPUs, however, may have fewer upgrade options due to limited pin counts. In conclusion, both LGA and PGA CPUs have their pros and cons. LGA CPUs are easier to install, offer better heat dissipation, and provide more upgrade options. PGA CPUs, on the other hand, might be more budget-friendly but may come with the risk of bent pins during installation. Ultimately, the choice between LGA and PGA CPUs depends on your specific needs, budget, and preferences. And there you have it, the difference between LGA and PGA CPUs demystified. We hope this video has been informative and helps you make informed decisions when building or upgrading your PC. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech insights and exciting content. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy computing!